My great-great-great-grandparents, Chloe Clark and William Wilson, lived in Oregon City at the Falls in 1841 to 1844, preceding, of course, the Oregon Trail. Both were with the Jason Lee missionaries. They had traveled separately to Oregon. William Wilson arrived in 1837 as the carpenter to build the missions, and Chloe came around in 1840 traveling as a single 23-year-old woman to be their teacher. They met and were married up in Nisqually, but when they lived at the falls, Chloe wrote a journal. And so I have the privilege of knowing how she saw the fish jumping through the falls. And she was frustrated because she realized she could never speak all the languages of the uh, Native Americans living there, not knowing there would be so many different languages that she would need to speak to communicate. J.K. Gill, who was my great-great-grandfather, he married one of Chloe and William's daughters, which is how he became family. But he had a brother named Sam Gill, who was a steamboat engineer, and he was also a writer. And so his stories, um, his log, as well as stories he wrote for the Portland Bulletin in the late 1800s are also preserved. And so it's through all those I really have an understanding of what their experience was on the Willamette. I grew up as a kid. My dad had his boat. We traveled through the locks when we needed to go downriver and we explored the mouths of all of the little tributaries of the Willamette. We stopped off in Shampooey, and I would swim, and I can still think of the feeling of swimming in the Willamette, waiting for the log rafts to come by to create the waves. I'm lucky to be in a family of writers, and writing came easily to me, but it was when my dad died four years ago that it just flew out of me. I realized there were these stories that I knew, some relating to history, some relating to my relationship with my dad, and I really couldn't not write. And what I hoped to do was write something that was publishable, that could be shared with others. Not to mention my father, who is really the one that brought all this to us through his own storytelling and his love of the river. He went on, of course, to love boating on the river, um, wanting to live on the river, and then eventually retiring from the Port of Portland Towards the end of his life, he had a great old vintage Coast Guard bartender boat that he would, you know, take all of us on rides, you know, sometimes to as far as the falls from his place in Selwood. So I guess it's easy to say that I have never not known the Willamette. I love to just sit by the banks. I close my eyes, I feel it. My, some of my favorite things are the smells, the cottonwoods in the spring, the blackberries as they ripen. And more recently, I've been able to get my kayak down to the river and I go in and I try to get in the, on the water before anyone else is out there to get the quiet. And I, for me, that paddling is, is really so meditative. And what I always do is I swim in the river after. And when I swim in the river, it takes me back. I feel like I'm a little kid again, because that's one of my best memories of growing up on the Willamette, are those summer dips. Maybe after strawberry picking, maybe after whatever it was, we were so lucky to have the freedom to do that. I once overheard someone talking about how if only they got rid of Westland Paper Company, which has since stopped production, that that would be so beautiful, to get rid of all of that. And, and I, I don't agree with that. I, I really believe there's a way we can preserve our stories of the past. And, and it's important that we learn all the different stories. And we recognize that while we may call some bad or some good, hopefully we're inspired to learn from all of them. We all have stories. We have different stories. Some of our stories are sad or scary. Parts of our stories are good. We might think they're bad, but they all make up who we are. And I so believe that by listening and looking at those stories, we learn 
about ourselves and, and, and really as a people, I think we can move ahead better. Thank you.